My name is George Ayers. My wife and I are partners at Fresh Air Farm in Farmington, New York. We farm 550 acres, about 100 acres of vegetables, sweet corn, pumpkins. Uh, we grow about five acres of small fruit that we you pick, and the rest of the farm is small grains and hay. We moved to this farm in 1988, and uh, the tillage uh, system can, was mostly moldboard plow and chisel. And I was concerned about the quality of the soil, the amount of tillage I was doing, the drying, it dried out so much in the spring. And when I began to see the uh, zone till introduced in this area, I became quite interested in it. And it solved uh, two problems that I'd had with no-till when I tried it. One was to get the seed slot closed and get good germination. And the second problem was how to put fertilizer down with that seed with no-till. In the zone till, you're tilling a little strip about six inches wide every 30 inches, and the area in between is not tilled. So the planter and the fertilizer equipment works like it was intended, and the area in between doesn't grow weeds because you're not tilling the soil. And it's really worked well for me. And so we've gradually worked through the farm until now the whole farm is, everything we grow is zone till. This is uh, my two row zone builder that I built a couple years ago for our strawberries. I started with a commercial unit that's six row, four rows or six rows wide. I needed a small machine for the berries because they're on 48 inch centers and the the commercial machine is 30 inch centers and it's so big that it's very difficult to move. So this was a, a project just for our strawberries. This was originally a toolbar that was 15 feet long and I cut it in thirds. I bought two channel irons and just welded the frame. The hitch, of course, was already there, so I already had it. It was an old toolbar that used to be on a, ro on a rotary hull that we don't use anymore. These two shanks were from a chisel that I don't use anymore. I bought years and years ago, and I took two off once to make it a little smaller, and they just were, you know, around, and so we just simply, they just fit right on this. These parallel linkages are rejects from the commercial zone builder that I had. I changed it a little bit, and I had two of these left over. These can be purchased from the company that built the zone builder. We made the brackets, put it on here, and then I just steal these coulters, these 13-wave coulters, from the commercial zone builder. I put them on here when I'm doing strawberries, and I take them off and put them back on that machine when I'm doing my other work. So I did not buy these. You could, but it doesn't take very long to change them. This thing goes about 12 to 14 inches deep. The discs just form the ridge right up over the slot. Uh, the key to the zone builder, whether it's this one, a commercial one, or whatever you do with zone tillage, the key is to do vertical tillage, not horizontal tillage. We don't want the tool that you're engaging in the soil to be pushing the soil sideways, like a moldboard plow, a disc, a field cultivator with sweeps on it, because that's where you get a compacted layer, right where that shearing action is from that sideways motion. Everything on this thing and with zone tillage is a vertical form of tillage. It doesn't have any sideways shearing. That's the key. Sustainable tillage practices that promote soil health are critically important to the long-term viability of farming. This poses a challenge for many commercial vegetable farms in the Northeast, where a lot of tillage is used to prepare seed beds, control weeds, and incorporate residues. This video explores a variety of tools and techniques that growers and researchers are using to reduce the intensity of tillage while maintaining crop production. Farmers can decide for themselves what practices best fit their operation.